since the initial announcement for EAC and BattleEye support on Linux, there's been a few developers come out and say we are actively working on patches for this and will get them out as soon as is feasible, and many of those patches have already dropped, leading to a lot of games that before were completely unplayable now actually working really, really well. And very recently over on ProtonDB, we finally hit 80% of the top 100 games actually being supported. That might not sound that impressive, especially when, you know, only 40% of the top 10 work, but this is a massive, massive milestone for Proton because only a few short years ago, Proton had a list of maybe like 15 supported games. But there is still tons of work that needs to be done, and there are devs of massive, massive titles that haven't said a single word about Bad Lie or EAC. And I've seen a weird sentiment growing among a loud but ultimately fairly small group of people that Linux users should stop bothering game developers about anti-cheat and Linux support because if you keep annoying them, they're going to see Linux as this group of annoying nerds online and they're not going to bother doing it because why would they want to go and help out the annoying people? While that might make some level of sense, imagine that with literally anything else in your life. Let's say the government decided that they want to build a road that's going to go directly through your house. Oh mate, the government wants to knock me house down and build a road! Oh, that sounds pretty bad actually. Have you contact your local parliament member? Maybe send them a letter, even just email them? Oh nah man, I couldn't do that, that'd be rude. I wouldn't want to annoy them and have them say no, right? So, how will they know there's a problem then? Nah, man, they'll just know, won't they? As it stands, Proton is absolutely amazing and supports tons of games. And if you go into Linux gaming knowing what to expect or you hold back your expectations, you're going to have a good experience. The problem, though, is I feel like a lot of people buying the Steam Deck don't have that prerequisite Linux experience and are going to be coming from things like consoles and Windows gaming, where things generally just work. With all the hype behind the Steam Deck, there is no doubt in my mind the initial sale is going to do incredibly well. The problem though is the sales after that. Those initial sales are going to be there while the reviews are actually coming out. And when those reviews come out and people test games and they realize that only 4 out of the top 10 Steam games actually function, those later pre-orders that come out every 3 months after that can be cancelled at any point. Seamless gameplay is absolutely fundamental to the Steam Deck actually succeeding, and I feel like this needs to be addressed before the launch actually happens, because sure, you can fix it later, but fixing a bad first impression is a lot harder than just having a good first impression. And I think Valve is absolutely aware of this. This is why they have a dev kit program and have been sending them out since mid-September because you need to have games actually working on launch. While the Steam Deck was delayed for hardware concerns, I wouldn't be surprised if they are happy about the fact that this gives developers more time to actually get games working on the Steam Deck. I find it very hard to believe that devs behind some of the major games on Steam like Apex and Destiny don't have at least one Steam Deck, even if they haven't actually said anything about wanting to support it. Even if these companies don't pay for them like many of the other companies would, it is in Valve's best interest to get a Steam Deck in the hands of these companies. Getting annoyed because they keep getting asked the same thing and then not doing something may make sense in the case of an indie dev where if you send them an email, you contact them through their subreddit or their Twitter or anything like that, the person who's responding to your message is very likely one of the developers on the game. But most Bigger companies don't operate like that. They have a dude who is there to check the emails, and that is literally their job. They will then filter through those emails and then send anything important over to the people who can actually deal with them. And there are literally reps from companies like Ubisoft that have said, please, please contact us if you want support for things like Proton, BattleEye, EAC, all of that fun stuff, because we're not going to prioritize it if we don't think anybody wants it. If nobody is saying, we need support for this, why would they bother doing it? They want to know. It's no different from a bug report or anything else you might try to report to developers. If one person is saying, hey, there is a bug here, 
this is something you should fix. Yeah, maybe they'll get to it eventually, but there are other things over here that have, you know, a couple hundred reports, and clearly people are saying this is very much affecting their gameplay. This is something we should probably work on then. Obviously, different companies are going to prioritize things differently, but a lot of them do actually care about user feedback, and if there's enough of it, they'll actually do something about it. And sure, while the Linux market share might be very, very small, it's a bit over 1% of the Steam user base. This is still over a million people, and that's enough people to get the attention of a developer. So if there is a game that you really want to play, I fully encourage you to go to the developer and say, yes, this is something we want to see because every single extra person raises it slightly up the list of what we should prioritize. And sure, while technically enabling Linux support for EAC and BattleEye is just flipping a switch, there's going to be some level of testing that needs to be done. No sane developer is just going to ship something out to the live servers and be good to go. New world. Most developers are going to want to have some level of testing first. And if you have enough people saying this is something you want to do, at some point you can sort of justify that expenditure and actually get it done. Some games, maybe they have too small of a user base to really justify the time commitment, but, you know, companies like Amazon Game Studios, Activision, Bungie, while they might be, you know, small indie devs, surely they can afford the R&D to actually do that if enough people are saying so. Now, obviously, the Steam Deck is important in this discussion, being such a massive bit of Linux hardware being sold. Arguably, one of the biggest we'll see for a very, very long time. But this is about more than just the Steam Deck. This is about Linux gaming as an entire concept. Even if the Steam Deck isn't around, it doesn't change the fact that there's a lot of people on Steam who actually want to play these games, and it's a far less taxing proposition to enable these anti-cheat systems than, say, what we would want in the past, which would be a native binary. Now, as long as you have the anti-cheat system working through Proton, you should be good to go. Now, I know someone's going to misunderstand what I've been saying. When I say contact developers... I mean, be a functioning member of society. Don't be an absolute asshole about it, because when you do that, that's when you start getting blocked and literally nothing gets done. So this person tried to contact the Insurgency Sandstorm developers and said, Sandstorm itself does not have to support Linux. You just have to enable a damn option. Is the company ideologically opposed to Linux or something? This is such a simple fix. It's not an inconvenience. It's negligence on your end. I play Squad, a game that is vaguely competitor. It does not officially support Linux, but EAC works for Linux. You have no excuse. This is not the way you contact a company. The way you do it is you say, hey, your game uses BattleEye, EAC, whatever it uses. This is now supported on Linux. Is there any chance that you could look into this or maybe your dev team is already thinking about it? And is there any way that we could show that we would like to see this supported? That is a sensible way to contact them. This, this is not useful. But if you're going to be a sensible person about it, I fully encourage you to bug developers and encourage others to do the same. It's the only way you're actually going to see some level of change happen, and hopefully, after enough people keep doing it, you'll see them budge a little bit. And if not, hopefully the smell of money encourages them to do so. So that's going to be it for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like this video and you want to support the channel and become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon subscribe stream very paid link in the description down below. I've got all my other links down there as well. And uh, yes, outros. How do those work? <laughs>